anything that we do that has a practice with it has this two-sided quality. On the one hand, we have steps. So we have 14 steps. So who is going to remember 14 steps? But we need those steps only to teach it. Once you learn it, then it is a practice. Once you learn it, then you do it your own way and, uh, and uh, you don't need the steps. Then you get stuck. Okay, then you look at the steps again. So we go back and forth between, ah, do it anyway, and oh, look exactly. Step number seven, this detail and oh, this detail. And focusing is also like that. Every art is like that. Like if you have a natural good voice, it's not enough. You have to have technique, you know? You have to have voice training. But not if it defeats, if it pushes back your voice, then the training is destructive. And the worst place where this happens is with thinking. Because we go to school for 12 years every day, five days a week, and you sit there, the child sits there, and nobody says, who are you? All those years, all they care about is you do your homework. All they care about is that you can repeat what they tell you. And every field that you learn is a bunch of concepts, and you're supposed to learn those concepts. And nobody brings you forward at all. And in the field of art, of singing, of painting, of dancing, this is well known. In thinking, they don't know it. So TAE is revolutionary. It's completely new. Only a few people know that thinking is not what we learn. It isn't. It comes from inside. And every human being is a different thing. Every human being is a different life understanding of the world. But this is easy because you know focusing. Most of you do. So if you don't know focusing, please g grab somebody who can show you focusing and spend as long as you need until you know focusing, because all this is wasted otherwise. We're going to go ahead now and talk about the steps. So this is a TAE workshop. So it has the problem that what we really want is for you to be able to go home and do this. Isn't that right? Yes. So if you're having a big experience and now you're supposed to crowd yourself into step one and two and three, then it's important to protect your body and your deep experience because you can go home and do this all the time. Now in this workshop, on paper, we have a plan. According to the plan, you're supposed to get to step 14, right? We'll get you there. But your body may have a different agenda. And what's more important is how, how you go home. So let's divide that now. Let's say you want to grasp with your mind these 14 steps. And since you know focusing, you understand about steps. We'd like you to see our 14 steps exactly, because each little wrinkle we have opens something, and we, we want you to see all that. If your main thing that you're working on is in this condition of, of needing, needing what I'm just saying, needing that protection, then use something else to practice step one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, that's it. And my job actually is just to go through the steps as gently as I can. 